Now let's move on to Hooke's law. Now before you understand Hooke's law, let's understand a term elasticity. What is elasticity? Okay, so when you you know, we're watching the video on stress when we defined what is stress. We talked about two kinds of deformations. The first deformation was elastic and the other deformation was plastic. Okay, so elasticity has something to do with both of them. So, when you put load onto a body, it gets deformed. Alright, so you put load load brings about deformation all right now this deformation okay if you let us say remove the load if you remove the load the deformation vanishes so if such a phenomena occurs then your deformation that occurred was elastic okay so if the deformation vanishes or the material or the body goes back to the original shape that was earlier before the loading began then that kind of deformation is called elastic deformation okay but if even after removal of the load the body is unable to trace back to its original shape the deformation is called plastic deformation or it has another name permanent deformation Okay, so what is this term elasticity? The term elasticity is basically the property of a material, okay, till which or due to which upon removal of load it traces or it regains it, its original shape. Okay, so that is what elasticity is, that is the property of the material the property of the material due to which due to which it regains its original shape upon load removal so that is what we call elasticity okay so when we start talking about this that elastic deformation or you can say this is also termed as temporary deformation or plastic deformation or permanent deformation and then you have a term elasticity now you keep on applying load and you keep on removing it you'll witness that there is a certain value of load till which only you can get your, uh, you can say, original shape back. You can actually regain the original shape. That point of load, if you exceed that, you cannot regain your original shape. And then it is said that you have gone into the region of permanent deformation. What is that region? We will talk about that in the next video. But in this video, we need to understand this, that that limiting load up till which your material remains elastic that is the original shape can be regained after the load removal that limit of load is called elastic limit it is called elastic limit so the load corresponding to this elastic limit is called the elastic limit load and the stress produced corresponding to the elastic limit is called the elastic limit stress okay and the strain also is called the elastic limit strain right so in a nutshell I can say that if you load your body or if you deform your body up and until the elastic limit you can regain the original shape upon load removal if you exceed the elastic limit you cannot regain the original shape you will be under permanent deformation okay now this elastic limit becomes the basis of the definition of Hooke's law so by Hooke's law we state that if your body is loaded within the elastic limit 
that is we are not going into the permanent deformation stage if the body is loaded within the elastic limit then the stress produced is proportional to the strain okay so if you remove this proportionality sign you'll get a constant of proportionality and that is a capital e over here this capital e is called the young's modulus it is called the young's modulus or the modulus of elasticity okay so because stress has a unit of megapascal or gigapascal strain has no units so the young's modulus will have the same units as that of the stress okay so this was hooke's law basically this equation for or till the elastic limit now let's take this combined knowledge of stress strain hooke's law and elastic limit into the next video and discuss a very very important thing and a graph which we call the stress strain graph